Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to another video tutorial. So I'll be showing you how to export your design as a high quality JPEG here in CorelDRAW. It's very much simple and very very easy to do. So as I show you that, I'll be showing you all what you need to know and some of the problems you may likely encounter and how to resolve them. So I'll be showing you all of those in this video. Alright, so without any further ado, let's jump right in. Alright, so um, this is a design I did for a logistic brand so um i'll be using it as a case study for this tutorial so um this is the design we have so you have to make sure you group your design so you highlight everything then group control g or command g if you're using a mac all right so um, once that is done you have to head on to exporting your design so there are different shortcut keys and ways to export you can use the shortcut key command e or control e so whichever one then you have this um box here all right so you can come to the menu bar under file then you go to export all right or you can come to this area then you select um export so i prefer the shortcut key Control e or command e if you're using a mac all right so you have this download box here so um this area is to select the file destination where you want the file to be exported to so this area is for the file name so um you can give whatever name you want so i'm okay with this then this is the save as type so what file type do you want to save this design as so mine is um jpeg so um once this is highlighted then you can press on j if you can't find jpeg so it selects all the file tabs that begins with j all right so um you go with this one jpg jpegs jpeg bitmap all right so you have to make sure this selected only is checked all right so um if that is not done this is what is going to happen all right so let's do um a little experiment here so nothing was selected here right so command or control e so uh, let's then head on to export. So um, this is what is going to happen. So you are going to have two of these designs, but this is not what you want. We just want just um, a single design. So yeah, that is the essence of taking that um, selected only. All right. So Control E. Then um, you've given it a file name, the file destination, selected the file type, and selected only is checked. Then we hit on export. All right, so we have it here, the export um, dialog box. So if you can't find this export dialog box, I have a video in the description below on how to locate the export um, dialog box here in CorelDRAW. It's very much simple and easy to do. And also moving on to the color mode. So um, this should be set to RGB. And I do get complaints from designers that their designs do change colors whenever they export it. It looks different from what they have on their PC and what they have on their phone. So probably... It might be the resolution of your PC is different from that of your phone, or it might be that um, you set yours to CMYK, which is not the ideal one for this design. So this should be set to RGB. So you have to take that at the back of your mind. All right. And um, another one also is um, the quality too here as well. So this should be set to highest. All right. And um, I do get complaints from designers that the quality or their designs get blur whenever they export it. So this might be as a result of using low quality resources for your design yeah, so um it's mostly advised that you use high quality resources for your design this would hereby improve the quality of your design output another way to improve um your design quality is to increase the resolution so by default this is set to 300 so i increase mine to 400 so um, when it's at 400 the size is 2.06 mb so to increase the resolution so um you can just highlight this and um, put whatever resolution size of your choice and then um, if you notice from 2.06 mb it moves um to 2.84 mb by just increasing the resolution so um that is one way to improve your design quality too as well and also um in some cases some designers do complain that they have um or they might see a blank interface this might be as a result of making use of um, a large size for your design so it's always advisable to use smaller sizes for your design so um, you have to take that at the back of your mind. So guys, um, that is it on this area. So once you're done, you click on OK and your design is being exported to the file location. So I'm checking the file location here. We have um, this design here. So double click on it. And um, this is what we have here. A high quality exported JPEG file. So guys, um, that is it on this video. If you found this video helpful, do out to it on that subscribe button. Turn on the post notification bell. To get notified when I upload new videos and don't forget to like, share and drop a comment and let me know what you think about this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video tutorial.